Hey, and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey, make sure you. <clears throat> oh, I had a one of those little bubbles in your throat. I sounded like a frog. Okay, let's start over. here and if you are new hey girl hey make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always be up to date with my latest tutorials I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm so excited to show y'all this DIY literally when I was making it and it was coming along I'm like oh my god I can't believe this is totally happening and it's nothing messing up and it's going so perfect so anyways I love this. I think you guys are going to definitely love this. I posted this on Facebook and Instagram yesterday and the responses were insane. So I know you guys are going to love it here on my channel. Um, there's nothing else for me to say. So let's get started with this DIY. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start with two of the pizza plans from the Dollar Tree and also four of the rolling pins. So the first step... <laughs> did I say the first step to this is placing your rolling pins in place and then I'm going to take a permanent marker and I'm going to trace out where I place them now I'm just gonna take my drill and I'm going to make like an imprint and then I'm going to drill a hole this is really easy to do with this metal because it's really nice and like flimsy so it's easy for you to drill that hole now if you don't want to use a drill you can definitely use like e6000 or even your glue gun but I would really make, recommend the e6000 to glue your roll roller pins on I don't know what I'm saying today guys all right so after we have done that all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place that rolling pin where I marked it underneath the pan and then I'm going to drill a hole for that rolling pin and I'm going to screw in my screw which is a inch and a half. So now I'm just going to take my white chalk paint and I'm going to paint the top pan and also the bottom pan and I did about three coats. So now I'm going to take these value pack beads that I picked up from Michaels. They're just your natural wood beads and we're going to add them to the spaces in between the two pans. Okay, so I just added this clip just to show you. So the beads in this pack, they're like different sizes. So you have your bigger ones and your smaller ones. So first of all, I'm placing this around here to see if I have enough beads, which one pack of those beads will be enough to go around the whole entire pan, but I'm also trying to make sure that I'm taking out beads that are too large for my stand. All right, so now I'm going to take this lovely stencil that I picked up from Michaels. It is a self-adhesive stencil. All you have to do is peel it off from the back. Really, really easy, but you just wanna be careful if you're using this stencil because some of the cutouts are really, really tiny. Um, so you do not want to break those cutouts. So after you've peeled your stencil off, all you're going to do is add it onto your pan. So this particular stencil, um, it fits, but since it's square shaped, um, it doesn't fit, if that makes sense. So the petals on the outer portion of the stencil, they don't stick onto the pan. So you're gonna have to stick those on there manually or manually, I don't even know if that's the right thing to say. So you're gonna have to stick, um, like, play, like put pressure on there when you're painting or you don't have to paint those areas at all. Okay, so now I'm going to start to paint my stencil. So the color I'm using is Savannah from Folk Art, I believe. Literally, the correct thing is gonna be in the description because I don't know if that's the correct color. But it's gonna be down below. Um, so I'm painting my stencil, and as you can see on the sides when I'm messing with the petals, which I don't even know if these are actually petals, but they're shaped like petals, you're gonna need to press down firmly so that you can Get that stencil nice and good so you won't have any bleed through. Although your girl still has a little bit of bleed through, um, you'll just eliminate having too much. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm just going to take my white paint and I'm going to clean up any areas that kind of bled through my stencil, which is basically and mainly all of the areas that did not stick on the outer portion. So these stencils work really, really well. So I would definitely recommend going to pick up any of this self-adhesive stencils that they have at Michael's because they are very inexpensive and they work really well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start to glue my beads on. So first, as you can see, I started to glue the beads where the holes were horizontal, but I decided to do them vertically because you won't be able to see those holes if you do them vertically. So I'm gonna do that around the whole entire pan. And honestly, you can use your glue gun, but I would highly recommend using the E6000 so you'll have a very strong hold. All right, so what I ended up doing was adding just one more screw to each of my legs, and this is just to give it a little bit more stability. Um, and also I wanted to kind of have my legs out at an angle, so that's why I'm kind of pulling them while I'm drilling and adding my screws. Uh, but it's totally up to you if you really do want more, more stability, because it's not as, it's still like a little wobbly. Um, you can probably add like the wooden dowels to the legs um, horizontally so that it'll really be nice and sturdy. And now I just take my glue gun and in different spots, I just add that glue and I add the top part. Okay, and just to add a little bit more character, I'm just going to take my sandpaper and distress the edges. All right, and to seal my top, I'm just going to take my Jolie, Jolie, Jolie finishing wax and my Jolie brush and I am going to cover this with wax just to seal my chalk paint. You can also use polycrylic to do this as well and if you're going to be using this outside I would probably spray like some type of outside protectant on it as well but this is the last step and you'll be all finished. All right, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, make sure you give this video a big a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next one.